July 4th, 2013. Uh, due to having two little kids and a wife that had back surgery, I wasn't able to string up my hop plants this year. So I figured I would take this opportunity to see what hops would do if left on their own. Uh, this is a roughly 8x8 eight eight garden. Um, what you see here, the hops are growing on a green welding wire fence. And what we have is, um, in here, <laughs> we have six hop plants. You're not going to be able to see it at all. In the back corner here and over there, we have fuggles. Um, haven't done much of anything. Up in the front corner here, and right about here somewhere, we have Cascade. And then these two plants, which are on... Uh, tomato trellises, uh, Chinook, and in the back is Liberty. So I basically wanted to see, my, my neighbor has this crazy bamboo crap uh, that grows into my garden. So I actually wanted to see, normally what I would do is I would, you know, have everything trained and pull giant weeds like that, but I wanted to see how they would do on their own. Um, I'd say they're doing pretty good. Got plenty of plenty of cones popping out. So this is the main hop yard, and then we, over here, what I did was on the back of my garage, um, I planted a bunch more. Um, let's see, should be Liberty on the end, Chinook, and I don't remember, Chinook maybe? Uh, normally what happens is these go from the back of the garage here all the way up. And on the rafters up here, I just took a, a fence post at Home Depot. And as you can tell, my garage is old and terrible. Um, so I just took, threw some screws into the, um, into the roof line there. And then at the very, very top is a uh, plumbing pipe clamp. So let me see if I can get a side shot of that. So all I did was... I screwed the pipe clamp to the top of the board and then bent it at a 90. And what I do is I just take some some twine from the top of these tomato cages up and back down and let them grow. Um, these plants are all two. This is, these are all second year plants. And um, in the main hop hop garden here we have. Uh, the Cascades and Fuggles are three-year-olds, and the Chinook and Liberty are two years old. Uh, normally with this yard, what would happen is I would um, string them all at the ground, at ground level, and uh, just this one and a half inch PVC pipe had a, um, a T connector at the top, so I would run my twine from the, from the ground up uh, through we threw the top of the tea and back down to another plant. Um, so I never really did much. Uh, when, when these really got going, I started just making a kind of a mystery harvest ale. So it would be a nice combination of mostly Cascade, some, some Fuggles, very few Fuggles. And I, I got a pretty good first year, first year yield of Chinook. Um, they seem to be doing real well here. But uh, I can't wait. I haven't. I haven't. I've literally done nothing to this yard this year, and I'm getting. I'm gonna have a pretty decent harvest. I just hope time and everything works out so that I can pick this year. So happy Fourth of July! I was out here mowing the grass, and I figured I would take a shot. You can see up the main trellis. Uh, I can 
get some some cone some cones developed in there. It's exciting. Again, happy Fourth of July and happy homebrewing.